Hello everyone. I thought I would hop on here and just explain this really quick. So I colored the bear with E50 and now I'm adding E31 and I'm blending that E31 with E50. I just want to get a quick layer on this bear. I This is what I call scribble coloring. You don't need to worry about how it looks. And now I have some Copic blending solution on my rag and I'm holding it on the bear like one, two, three, lift and then you get all that great texture. If you have a heat gun, set it. If you don't, I didn't. So I'm just touching up the ends with my zero blender here just to get rid of those, shaping up the lines, I mean. And then I'll be ready to add some colored pencil. The best success is to have a sharp pencil. I can't impress upon you that on you enough, whatever. Um, so, now I'm using that sharp tip and I'm hovering. I don't pay attention where the light's coming from. I pick an area. I always do this side of the head. And I'm just hovering and focusing on this side of the head. I have a very light hand and I'm focusing on the top. And now I'm just almost doing like little circles, just barely skimming to blend that darker color. I'm just touching up that line again. And then I'm gonna go back and skim some more. Um, so if you have a heavy hand, hold your pencil towards the end and you'll get better results. So I'm, I just wanna soften that darker area that I did and I'm just skimming the end, not the end, I'm just skimming it over the top of the paper, kind of making little microscopic scribbles just to blend it, just to soften it. Um, and it looks really cool with the texture that I got from the Copic blending solution and the rag. So now I'm gonna work on his ear. I'm just gonna start on the top of the ear. So I break it down into sections and each section at the top is where I put a darker area because I don't want to take the time to think about the light. I just want a darker and a lighter area. So now I'm working on the cheek and I picked a really vibrant pink, which was probably a little too silly. So I have to be so careful here. Um, so I'm gonna pick another flush tone just to soften that bright, bright pink. And I'm just skimming it over where I did the bright pink. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color to the ears, some of that bright, bright pink. Excuse me, and soften that. And what else? Um, so let me just talk while you're watching here. So on the nose area, my pencil wasn't sharp enough and then it just kind of messed everything up. And you'll see that in a minute. Um, but before I do that, I'm just gonna soften the left side. I want this brighter, so I have to skim the tip of the pencil. I've sharpened my pencil just ever so lightly there. And then I'll do that ear too at some point. Um, but so on that nose area, I wanted to add just a little hint of color. I didn't wanna leave it solid white. And my tip wasn't sharp enough. So then my line was too thick. And so then I wanted to add some white on top. That didn't work. So then I tried to erase it and that helped. And then I picked up a lighter gray and it looks good enough. Um, so I'm going to add, darken the eyes and the nose. Sometimes I draw eyebrows or eyelashes, just not feeling it today. Um, so here I go. Now I know my pencil looks sharp, but it's not. And I tell everyone, do some lines on your scrap paper first when you think it's sharp, then sharpen it and do some lines. And you might notice a big difference. So I'm just trying to fix this with the white pencil. That's not working. Um, 
So I have this little eraser, it works a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring in some light gray. Uh, it's a little hard to do it when you're filming it. I probably would have sharpened my pencil and that wouldn't have happened. Um, but it's good, so then you kind of know what to do. If your pencil tip keeps breaking, it's because you're pushing too hard. You want to build up light layers of color. So I'm ever so skimming that tip of the pencil around his nose just for a little bit of dimension. That's all I'm doing. And when I did the flowers, I sharpened my pencil often. I know a lot of you worry about your pencil wearing down, but if you keep it relatively sharp and you're gonna have better results, I don't think you need to worry about that. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.